And from Imagination Station with experiments uh, and what little scientists can do. Good morning. Who's your, your friend here, Dan? Good morning. Uh, this is Spartacus. Okay. Uh, he's a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Does he hiss? Uh, they will hiss. I don't know if I can get him. Oh, there he is. You can hear that. But uh, He's so them agitated. today, we, I thought we would talk about our little scientist workshops. Okay. And uh, while we're doing that, um, Spartacus doesn't seem to want to let go of me right now. So I've got, let's grab another one of our friends. Would okay. you like to hold one? Uh, I'll let you hold. No, I'll you let sure? you hold. No, that's, that's oh, very tempting. That's very okay. tempting. Now I'll let anyway, you hold on to it. So we have our little scientist workshops is for ages three to five. Yeah. And we are just starting a new series that's going all summer long for nine weeks um, on Thursday mornings from 10, 15 to 11. So that's right and, when you get out of uh, here. Right when, right when we get out of here. And we'll be doing all kinds of fun things, talking about a bunch of different topics. Uh, we like to focus on uh, doing hands-on activities. I'll and say most of the time you're doing skills. experiments, but you do all things with science, right? Um, all things involving science. And we even get to talk a little bit about insects, which these guys are. And they're amazing little creatures. I don't know if you guys can... So what makes the cockroach so amazing? Um, so these are special cockroaches. These are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Okay. Um, and they're only found in Madagascar. Madagascar, and they're a wingless cockroach, and they're one of the largest cockroach species around. I and say they make they're that pretty big. Sound. Yeah. Okay. So when they get agitated, or so that's an uh, agitation. That's a warning. Do, do they have anything that can like? They have nothing to back it up. All they do is make this. the hissing sound. <laughs> <laughs> they are terrible against defending themselves against predators, but they do make that really cool so sound. Their their bark is worse than their bite. Their bark is absolutely worse than their bite, and uh, they're really interesting. They're mostly uh, herbivores. Um, which means they mostly eat just like no, you said plant mostly. material. <laughs> mostly, yeah, I mean, they'll eat whatever falls to the ground, basically. Sure. Um, but they're very interesting. They actually are one of the only insects to give live birth as well. So interesting. Cool. Um, and when we go and we show them in our little scientist workshops, we talk about the head, abdomen, and the thorax, sure. um, which are the three parts of insects. That's what you need to have it be an insect. And they also, we also talk about the legs and, and where they can live. Most insects lay eggs. Yep, These most guys. insects lay eggs. They actually uh, incubate their eggs inside of them and then give birth to live uh, wow. nymphs is what they're called. So they've got all sorts of different things. Uh, speaking of different things, you said an imagination station, different stuff going on. We got the um, the little scientist camps going on. That, that lasts for a while through the summer? Well, we got summer camps going on and then our little scientists little workshops scientists. are workshops. happening on Thursday mornings. We also, we, we don't just talk about bugs though. Um, these are like these are very old creatures. They're like living fossils. Yeah. Um, we also talk a little bit about fossils and dinosaurs. Um, so we'll bring in teeth and we'll talk about carnivores and herbivores. Tooth? This is actually a Tyrannosaurus rex tooth. Wow. Um, and this is actually a T-Rex skull, um, but it's one fourth the size. I was so, gonna say this looks so a little you can smaller. Scale than... up the head to match this tooth. That's a pretty big skull. That uh, would be one scary creature. And you can tell the difference between what the dinosaurs ate uh, by looking at their teeth. That is a molar of a mastodon. Yeah. It's not a dinosaur, but no, it's an ancient creature. Yep. And uh, they ate mostly plant material, so they use that flat tooth to kind of grind it up. They didn't need to cut into the muscle and things, so no, nope. so they, they just grinded it up. And we also, we talk about all different topics. Uh, you might be familiar with this one, yep. uh, clouds. Sure. We talk about making clouds and weather. Yeah. yeah, we might be seeing some of those a little bit later on. Maybe. I think we're definitely going to be seeing some of those. So it um, looks like you're going to build up some pressure. But now I can make a cloud inside of a bottle by building up pressure. You're exactly right. Because yep. uh, what are the things we need to make a cloud? Well, you got to have the water. You've got to have the air. You've got to have the vapor in the air. All sorts of things. Yep. Uh, mostly. Yep. Water, moisture, particulate matter. Sure. And a change in temperature or pressure. Yep. Which hopefully we can get with our bottle right here. How about that? Just comes right Instant off. cloud. Bang so on the when inside. you change the pressure like that, we change it so fast, and even you know high pressure. What kind of a weather do we have? Usually you have the sunny weather with sunny, the high pressure. Sunny, clear weather. So I can actually increase the pressure. So you make the sunny day. You make a sunny day. You make the pressure lower. And then we get a low pressure system. Boom. Makes cloudy. Make it Just cloudy like again. That. So all these things um, we're going to be talking about in our little scientist workshops Thursday morning. All right. um, super fun. We get lots of hands-on activities for little kids that are prepping for kindergarten or preschool or anything like Perfect, that. Perfect, Dan. It's amazing stuff. Appreciate it. Always yeah, no great problem. With the Imagination Station. Thank you. We've got more WTO 11 your day. When we come back, stay with us. And no hissing. <laughs>